First of all, thank you for the opportunity uh, which is given to, uh, to me and to, uh, to the telemedicine to, to present this project today. Uh, and thank you for the uh, organizer. I don't know about you, uh, but um, it's a long two days, and uh, I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm very excited to have this opportunity today. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> what I'm going to present to you, it's, it's about one of the projects we have uh, and we're supporting at MSF Canada. MSF Canada is involved in uh, scaling up telemedicine uh, in MSF, works with the five operational centers, and is also the coordination platform for the store and forward telemedicine that you, <coughs> those who are involved in uh, medical work at MSF uh, already know. Um, uh, I'm presenting a pilot project that we have implemented in collaboration with, uh, with OCB uh, uh, in Temurgara, Pakistan, for the management of uh, neurological emergencies, uh, uh, providing dist distance support using uh, smartphone-based technology. Uh, I'm presenting on, be on behalf of my colleagues that you can see here on the screen. Uh, um, well, that's going to be better like that. Um, um, <clears throat> uh, the project took place in Timurgara. It's, uh, it's uh, in Lower Deer District in, in Pakistan. Uh, MSF works in Pakistan since 1986 in different operational contexts that include uh, natural and man-made disaster and also to increase access to healthcare for a uh, population where that access to healthcare is very limited. You can see here in the map that Timurgara is located in the north uh, west of Pakistan. Uh, in the FADA area of, of Pakistan. Um, the management of uh, neurological emergency present challenges to uh, uh, humanitarian medicine. Uh, field uh, worker often lack access to expertise in managing neurocritical uh, uh, care. Uh, uh, and the district uh, hospital, the district, district headquarter, uh, district hospital of, of Timurgara uh, has access to computed uh, tomography uh, Im imagery uh, from the private so sector. However, um, it has limited access to uh, critical care expertise and access to uh, specialist uh, expertise in that domain. Um, uh, this in order to, to guide um, emergency doctor in their inv investigation and management of the case that are presented into the emergency department. Uh, the challenges in that project included also uh, uh, difficulties to comply with uh, MSF clinical uh, with MSF guidelines. So those guidelines have been developed in, in Kunduz by by OCB. Uh, um, there are also uh, significant mean city, uh, missed CT scan findings. Uh, there are challenges also around the cost due to the initial number of prescribed CT scans that may not be necessary. And also, and probably more importantly, there is a real challenge for the patient that while they wait for having the CT scan to be performed, they also wait to, to be managed. And we can imagine that for someone presenting a, a polytrauma, uh, it may be an issue. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, what we try to achieve here in our small pilot uh, is to uh, provide better support to the medical officer in the emergency room to increase adherence to uh, our guidelines if possible, uh, uh, to reduce, minimize the number of means, missed findings in CT scans and also uh, really to improve the management of the patient uh, at the real time in the ICU. Um, uh, so what we did, it's quite simple. Uh, we've uh, introduced a technology using a smartphone uh, uh, connected to uh, 3G because it's available there. Uh, we've uploaded de a dedicated secure telemedic telemedicine applications. Uh, I can tell you more about this application if you want, but it's not so much about the application, it's about the secured telemedical environment uh, uh, to be used by the emergency room doctors. Uh, uh, remote 24-hour support was provided by four consultants based uh, mainly in, in North America. In North America, in that case, uh, but it could be very different. Uh, uh, the expertise that was made available was in critical care, in neurosurgery, in traumatology, and in emergency medicine. Uh, 
all neurological emergencies uh, considered for a CT scan were eligible for having a telemedicine consultation. And we've collected data from December 2017 to February uh, 2018. Uh, we used a descriptive uh, analysis to assess the impact of our intervention, mostly for proof of concept. We also used uh, an operational perspective to assess the improvement to patient care. Huh? Uh, and this uh, project received the, the necessary ethical uh, clearance. So uh, during the, the pilot period, there have been 155 consultations that were performed. Uh, 16 of them did not advise a CT scan. Out of the 140 remaining, 53% were for traumatic brain injuries, 34% uh, for suspected stroke. And here I would like to mention that in Timurgara, uh, advanced management of uh, stroke, so uh, thrombolysis, is not available. Um, and 40% were for altered mental health status. Um, um, management advice were given before the CT scan and also after the CT scan, but also before and after the CT scan. So it's a full consultation. The mean time first, uh, uh, response time is a minute and 52 seconds. So uh, the experts were fully, av were fully available. Um, we also surveyed uh, the uh, users to understand uh, uh, the benefit or assess the benefit of the intervention. Uh, and we found out that uh, the doctor felt better supported after the consultation, after receiving an advice from expert from somewhere else, uh, that the consultation led to significant change in the management of the emergencies, uh, that often, and it's an important element, that their advice were new uh, to them, so it's a matter of, of a transfer of knowledge, uh, and that they were notified of uh, missed finding in the, in the CT scan at an early, earlier time. Um, um, so this uh, rather small uh, pilot suggests that real-time telemedicine consultation with distant expert is possible. Uh, probably in most of our operational context, we may have to figure uh, uh, the, the connection to the network. Uh, also, that such intervention, like in terms of nor managing neurological emergencies, improve ad adherence to clinical guidelines. Uh, reducing also unnecessary scan. We'd like to mention that throughout this pilot project, the number of CT scans performed in Timurgara was reduced by three, uh, uh, and that MSF pays systematically for all of these scans, um, uh, and that uh, this intervention positively influenced uh, the management of the patient. Uh, also, would like to point it out because we think it's extremely important, and, and telemedicine is a lot about that. Uh, is, is that uh, the medical officers, the users, feel uh, better supported and learn from uh, that intervention. Uh, for sure, this was a pilot, it's not a research, as I've already said. Uh, uh, it improved uh, management. Um, we recommend to perform uh, more studies with larger sample size uh, to continue exploring uh, additional useful, usefulness and benefit of such uh, intervention. Uh, um, there are several work that have been done, are being done to assess the, the, the performance and the model in, in telemetry in general beyond the one I've, I, I'm presenting. Uh, uh, I should mention that uh, uh, OCB, in the light of this, uh, this result, are willing to continue the initiative and is asking us to uh, work on the model to sustain the interventions. And we have some idea for that. Huh? Um, this is one of a small of the elements that documents how much telemedicine is transformational and how much is going to impact the way we work in the year to come for various reasons that have been already presented uh, during these past two days. Huh? Uh, I would like to seize the opportunity here 
to also mention that if we want to have access, I think there have been many uh, solutions presented over the past two days, research work, innovation. Many of them are connected. There is little connection into uh, available in our uh, medical facilities. So if you guys want to have access to new technologies and telemedicine, uh, I think we should agree to lobby our operational centers and the IT and whoever we need to to increase bandwidth availability in medical facilities because uh, our colleagues or the patients and all of us deserve having better uh, connectivity to better perform uh, in the field. Um, um, I would like to thank all the contributors to this uh, project. Uh, firstly, with uh, thank you to the OCB uh, Timurgara project team in Pakistan and the coordination. It was a, not a done deal to test that in Timurgara in such, uh, such a sensitive co context, but it worked. Uh, I would like to thank those who have uh, provided their expertise into the project. Uh, uh, our uh, colleagues uh, at MSF Canada who implemented it and the OCB team who has been fully supportive of this initiative. Thank you.